Hi, John here, and this is Up for Excel. Today, we're going to be going through dual axis charts. I'm going to take you through all aspects of them, so let's get on with it. I'm starting with some basic sales and profit numbers here. Quickly highlight all that using the shortcut keys Control Shift and the arrows, and then Alt F1 to produce a quick chart. One of the noticeable things about it is that the profit numbers are considerably smaller than the sales numbers. So it's very hard to see if, a, other than start doing some calculations, whether a particular month or quarter as it is here is particularly profitable or not. So it would be nice to increase the size of those profit bars in some way. One very quick way of doing that is to create a dual access chart and that is what we're going to do right now. Simple way to create a dual axis chart is you click on the series on the chart that you want to display on a second axis. And then if you go to this format data series at the side here on the right hand side and click on series options, you'll see that you can simply select secondary axis. Straight away what that's done is put them on top of each other, which is probably not exactly what we what we want to see. So we've got various different options here. We can change the gap width, sorry, make one wider or narrower so that we can see them one or the other. We could change our chart type to a combo chart type where we could show one as a line, for example. So that's not bad. So we've done that. So change that to a line. Straight away, we've got something where we're showing a separate line of what our profitability would look like. And that's actually quite a reasonable way of showing it. And it shows that straight away you can see Q4 was particularly profitable because not only did it have the highest absolute profit, but it also exceeded its sales bar, even though it's on a joint dual axis. Whereas say quarter four and Q17 might have had more sales here, but it had a lower profit margin. So that is a really quick and simple way to create a dual axis chart. So now we need to look at some of the ways we can improve this chart. So I'm going to go back actually to changing our chart type back to a, a standard column chart where we had it like that and put that again back on a secondary axis and we're going to narrow it to, um, so I'm going to do that on 500 and then on the next one we're going to widen it considerably to something like that. So we're showing bars within bars. I actually think I want to show these slightly lower because what I want to do, show these slightly wider as well actually, probably make them quite a bit wider now, maybe somewhere around there. All right and the reason that I've done that is because I want to put some data labels in here to get rid of these dual axes. Because one of the things on a dual axis chart that can get very confusing is it's not immediately obvious which axis each block of data is referring to. So looking at this chart, it's not obvious that the profit figures come from the right hand side of the chart and the sales figures come from the left hand side of the chart. We could probably work it out, but it's not necessarily obvious at all. I find it quite useful really to put data labels and remove the axes completely to avoid any of that sort of confusion. So we'll do that right now. So if we go up to design, we're gonna add some elements. So first of all, data labels, and we're gonna put them inside the end. And I'm actually going to then format these, format the number for a start. So I've got a custom number format that's in millions that I'm going to use. And I'm going to also, let's find the alignment, yeah, so alignment. I'm going to change the text direction to that. And then on the home menu, I'm going to be able to make them bold. And I'm also going to change the color of these bars to a shade that I'm happy with, let's say that. I actually think I'll change that back to um, black now. All right, and I'm going to do exactly the same treatment on these bars. 
Unfortunately, this bar here is, is too high and some of them, I don't like the way they're nearly touching it. So we need to scale this axis back a bit. One of the ways we can do that while the axis is still on there, it's kind of easier because you can just click it. Incidentally, when the axis has disappeared, you can still um, manipulate it and format it by going to the format toolbar and clicking on the name that you of what you want to remove uh, format. So secondary vertical axis will still be there even when you've hidden it on that list. So we're going there. So we're going to format this by changing the data points. So instead of having an automatic maximum, I'm going to up it a little bit. So I'll add uh, five percenter. So that's lowered the bars. You can see that actually looks pretty good. Now, the only problem is that when you get new data, because I've manually uh, manipulated that, you will have to do that again. But I do have a video coming on up along the line on dynamic charts, and I'll go through all of that kind of automation in charts. So make sure you hit the subscribe, hit the bell icon, and then you won't miss that video when it comes out. Right, so I think we're now in a good position to be able to delete the axes. So we can just uh, click on the axes as we just did. So I need to go and do the same thing here. So we will remove the, uh, say no labels, and we should be able to say no tick marks, none of them, um, no fill, no line. There we go. Right. We can also delete the grid lines and we can just delete them by highlighting them. And then this axis here, we can say again, no fill and no line. All right, that, we can make that bold. Uh, maybe up the font size, that's just slightly. We'll put the chart title on, of sales and profit. Uh, again, make it a bit larger, make it bold and move that legend position. So we can, uh, if we do format legend, we can say we want it at the top. Right, so that is one version of a dual axis chart where we're being very clear and open about something. Mm -hmm.